Hey guys, and welcome to the first of the OmniFocus videos. So in this one, I'm going to show you guys how to set up preferences within OmniFocus and how to use them as a power user. So here I am in OmniFocus. If I go to OmniFocus and click on preferences, you'll see right here uh, all the different settings for OmniFocus. So under the general tab, the things to take note of here are the quick entry shortcut, which you can change and customize to whatever you want. The backup. Now, OmniFocus creates a lot of backups, especially if you select twice a day like I do and backup when quitting. I found that after a month, I probably had about a gigabyte's worth of backups. So what I do now is I create a reminder in my list to copy paste or clear them out weekly because do add up over time and that's a lot of valuable hard disk space that you could be saving. Now under data, the thing to take note of here is I would strongly discourage the use of item counts in either the menu bar or the dock because when you're working throughout the day you really shouldn't need to be figuring out or knowing what's coming next because you should just have a clean OmniFocus interface open which just has your immediate task and your next actions. Now, if you're going to do anything, I would suggest that you use the dock counter and use the flag system. As I'll explain later, the flag system is there as a way to set tasks that are due in that particular day. Now, under style, I have my own custom style for OmniFocus. You can create your own style, or just under this video, there'll be a link to my style sheet, which you can download and import by loading a theme here. Basically, I set it up in such a way that, as you can see, items that are due are highlighted entirely in orange, both in text and in the background. Items that are overdue are red, as you can see here, and next actions are green. I also cleaned up the typography quite a bit to make it easier to read and generally it just looks a lot nicer than the standard OmniFocus layout. Now under clippings, the only thing of note here in particular is Melon on Leopard or Later, which is the OmniFocus built-in Clippertron, which processes mailbox and notes items from Apple Mail very efficiently to import into OmniFocus. Now I know that some people like to use the iCal function synchronize their tasks with the to-do list within iCal. I actually don't think it's necessary because you have the OmniFocus iPhone and iPad apps, so there's no real need to be playing around with the iCal settings and to have to pull data from iCal into other applications.